You know, one of the other versatile ways you can use the quick cleat is if you're a walleye fisherman, you know the importance of using a drift sock when you're drift fishing in heavy wind. But for a long time as walleye fishermen, we've struggled with where exactly do you attach this drift sock onto your boat where it will be effective and yet not get in the way of the fishermen that are in the boat trying to, trying to have a good time fishing. Most people attach their drift sock to this front tie cleat here. Problem is, is that when a walleye fisherman sitting in the bow is fishing with the drift sock right there, he has to sit there and change the angle of his rod and lean one way or the other to try to accomplish fishing without getting all tangled up in the drift sock. If the drift sock was run on the rear of the boat right here, although that wouldn't be in anybody's way, it probably also wouldn't do any good because it's so far back in the boat that the boat would drift on a real bad angle. What you really want to do when you're drift socking is put that as close to the center of the boat as possible. This accomplishes two things. This fisherman is not in the way. This fisherman is not in the way. Enter the quick cleat. Again, mounted in the exact same location as for my, bow, for my um, boat bumper. I change the boat bumper out by simply turning the cam, releasing the quick cleat rope, turn the cam, put it back in, this is a drift sock rope. I snap my drift sock onto this, throw it in the water, and again, it, it'll hold my whole weight. The drift sock, it'll hold a lot more than that. The quick cleat is fast, and it's versatile, and it's a necessary component to every walleye fisherman's boat.